Hi everyone, it's Daniel here, and uh, as you see, i am gone into programming uh, for you guys. I'm going to help you guys out. If you guys are interested, you guys can keep watching, but I've got a couple requests from my subscribers to do some uh, programming tutorials, and I have some programming knowledge. So I decided to start on C++, and C++ is really fun to learn. It's kind of hard at first, but as you get into it, it becomes really addicting uh, and fun. But so before we do any programming, we're gonna do some. Uh, we're gonna learn about the basic hardware components, components, and the reason why is like you don't want to go program without any knowledge. So the first thing we're gonna do is talk about the computer tower case. It's a case that contains, protects, and organizes all the components within. This is very self-explanatory and so easy, easy to understand. The more expensive the case is because it has LED lights or like a water cooling system, but that's not really needed to know. Next one is CPU. This is very important. It's considered the brain of the computer. It handles all electronic processes and commands that pass through the computer. The speed of a CPU may be examined by how many cores or actual processors it possesses. Uh, some of you must have might, may have heard of this or will later on will. Uh, it can consist of a dual or a quad core processor. The speed of CPUs are currently measured in gigahertz per second. See, the more gigahertz per second, the faster the CPU, is. CPU can carry out instructions given by the computer. If you want to run high-level software, a faster CPU is more desirable. Uh, let's, say, let's say your friend says, oh, you have a really fast computer and stuff, or let's say you have a really slow computer. It's just all, mostly based on your CPU, so this is good, this is good to know. Motherboard is, uh, you can tell by its name, it has a really big function. Uh, it interconnects all necessary hardware inside a computer. Uh, it's also considered the system board. It's a large, often green tinted circuit board. You can see in the pictures, it's really, it really has a lot of stuff in it. And it's, it looks kind of confusing to know all the stuff on it, but I have a way for you to kind of help understand. Consider the motherboard as an electronic map of roads that lead to other connected hardware that are necessary to complete tasks on the computer. Uh, so, to rephrase that is every single thing on the motherboard they'll work together to complete specific tasks and one thing I have to tell you the CPU sits on the motherboard so that's something cool to know uh, you don't need to know much about stuff on it just know just the basics of it the RAM okay RAM is um, it's, it's kind of it's easy to know, but people get mixed up with RAM and internal memory, and I'll explain to you later why. So RAM is random access memory. Uh, data is stored in RAM, but it's not permanently stored. It's aka short-term memory. So if you want to remember RAM, just remember short-term memory. Uh, so it's currently available in hardware card form, measured in gigabytes that sit attached in slots on the motherboard. Accordingly, the more RAM installed in the computer, the more applications can run quickly and smoothly. So you should have more RAM, it's always good, but it's fine if you don't. Internal memory, this is opposite of RAM. It's permanently stored memory. Uh, the data is stored into internal memory as files. So if you want to go to your school, um, if you want to go to school, you have to project to turn in, you save it on your own computer at home, uh, you put it on your flash drive or whatever, take it to school and you can show your teacher this is term memory it's permanently stored memory uh... this is really this is good this is really good to have these um, sorry there they, they, the data can be stored in portable devices such as flash drives sd cards and external hard drive data is stored in internal memory as files so whatever you save on these hard, uh, flash drives or whatever they're all they're all files you can permanently save, bring up, and modify files stored in internal memory memory through program applications, some of which later on will be introduced. Next one, graphics video cards. Uh, if you're a really high advanced gamer, you really want a good graphic card. Uh, it's needed to display quality images on the monitor of the computer. Um, to make it easier for you to understand, it makes the gameplay prettier. It makes it more HD. Um, so, this is good to know about this. Now the power input and output, uh, self-explanatory as well, uh, keyboard and mouse are inputs, outputs the monitor and speaker will be C, so, and will be here. Now the heatsink or fan, 
Uh, most computers have this. It's a device that cools off CPU. If you don't have this on your computer, your computer won't last more than a month. Uh, if you're especially if your computer is running a lot of programs, uh, that is because that when many applications are running on a computer, the hardware has to work. All of this electrical energy creates heat, which is a computer's enemy. The heat sink is a device that cools off the CPU. The fan pulls out the hot air out of the computer and injects it away from the old hardware. Overclocking or running a computer at a higher level than what it's designed for creates a high amount of heat requiring a better fan. So if your uh, laptop's heating up and you can feel it really, it's really hot, that means it's overheating and this heat sink is doing its best to take care of it. Okay, so next one is a drive. Okay, a drive such as USB ports or disk drives are designed to receive and process external information provided appropriate hardware and software formats. Um, they are not really necessary for a computer to run, but are extremely useful for saving, using, and transporting external data. And the next one is, um, well, okay, well, actually that's the last slide, and I uh, hope you enjoyed watching and hope you I hope you understood. Uh, if you could, can you please give me some comments and feedback on if I should change anything, uh, change my style of how I speak or anything. I hope really appreciate it. Uh, the next tutorial will be about uh, bugs and uh, bugs are like the programming errors, and you'll see what I mean by that. So once again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos and all that liking stuff. Uh, anyways, uh